Having more control over your AI video is now possible with Clean AI's Element Tool. Let's get started. I never thought I'd care about anything in this wasteland. But then there was Nugget, my chicken. Fast as a coon hound, fearless, and the only thing I ever loved. Today, he ran off into the fog, chasing something. I called for him, searched, but he's gone. This world used to have people, warmth. Now it's just me, the poison air, and silence. But if he's out there, I'll find him. Nugget's all I've got left. All those scenes were used with Flux, and then I imported them into the Kling AI, and I used the elements to create them and make them together as a working together scene. I'm gonna show you right now how I've done that. You wanna go over to KlingAI.com, you want to click on the 1.6 uh, here up at the top here. If you're not on the 1.5 or 1.0, it is not available on that. You want to click on the elements and then you want to click the upload to image. It allows you to upload four images. I've only had success with three at a time. You can upload four, but I've had them it leave out one of the images. So let's click on here. We will go with the, uh, let's see here. We'll go, we'll put the man in there. And then we're going to click on here. We're going to put the uh, diner scene. And then we're going to click on here. And I'm going to add the cyborg chicken. Because who wouldn't want one of those? Now, down here, you can just add whatever prompt you want. So we could put, um, let's see here. The man is uh, chasing the chicken. Down the road and then like normal you would just go down here and you want to pick your settings so if you're going to do a standard mode or a professional mode right now for time and speed I'm going to go with standard mode and just five seconds the uh, uh, professional mode and 10 seconds was costing me about 70 credits and was using about 20 minutes of time per uh, prompt. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. You obviously can put any negative prompts in here if you want. Uh, and you can also do the, uh, if you wanted to do uh, camera shots, you could also tell it to do that. Right now I'm just going to let it just go straight for that and see what that gets us. But in the meantime, I'm going to try to show you some of these uh, particular scenes that I've gotten from that. So let's click on this one here. This was just the chicken running. Uh, you can see it kind of got a little glitchy there. I actually ended up using Part of the glitchy part but i added a little video effect to it um let's click on here this particular one um i picked this was a scene was where the man was picked up the chicken was hugging it but this one didn't turn out quite right so i did not end up using this one uh, let's go with this scene here this was where he did pick up the chicken and was holding it i did use part of this uh in this in the trailer and then we got this particular scene here where this was uh, the man. He's uh, he's obviously upset over the chicken being gone and over the world he's living in. Uh, look at the rain effect on that. It looks so good. So, and then we've got this particular one here. And this was the, uh, I use this as the opening scene and the end scene. So the opening scene I cut right here. And then I put the, be the beginning of this uh, as the end scene right here. So. And then this right here, this is him screaming into the air after, the, after Nugget has got ran away. And all of these were made just by doing what I'm doing right here. And then here, last but not least, this is the Nugget fighting a demon. Um, it's kind of weird. The demon guy was a uh, was a weird looking guy here that I'd actually made in Creo when it first came out. So. Those, that's the ones that I've done there. And uh, I wanted to show you guys some really cool things that you're able to do with this. So as you can see here, you could just upward any image and then look here. The chicken destroys the man in a fire in a fight. And so the chicken's just going ham on this dude, right? Um, here, I mean, the guy screams, raises both arms in the air and starts screaming. I mean, just real simple prompts here. If you go too complicated of a prompt, Queen doesn't like it. But, uh, Let's see here. Did we get the car scene? The car running? That may have been further down. Here we go. Here's another scene that I used. 
Now this one here turned out um, a little glitchy there, but the rest of it's really good, really usable. Yeah, definitely looks good. It looks pretty good until it got to the very end. But that, that little section there is a little glitchy, like I said. But right there, but everything else is definitely usable. And then we got here. This was just the uh, the man and the chicken, you know, standing on a sidewalk. The chicken is walking around. Um, oh, and then I have the chicken pecking somewhere. Now, if you are into effects, I uh, wanted to show you guys real quick an uh, effect thing here you can do. So you click on the effect, and it only gives you two options right now. It does the uh, moochie moochie, which is where it squishes something. And then it does the boom boom, which it blows something up. Here's what the moochie moochie looks like on the chicken. Looks really good. Looks like it turns it into a roll. Uh, really fun. So uh, another really cool thing that you can do with the uh, elements category is you can add a, a picture. You don't have to add anything else. You can say a man wearing a Mario outfit, holding a plunger, running down a city of a giant toilets. So you can see these are kind of toilets, but they're also not toilets. And so what I've done with this is I uh, did another prompt and I actually added a costume itself. And this turned out way better, although the plunger is not a plunger. It looks more like a little sledgehammer or a cleaning tool. But the, And I added commodes and, and toilets like together, because I don't know what some countries call the toilet, you know. But it definitely looks more like a toilet or a commode, if you would. This, this guy still has, he looks like the original character, and he is definitely wearing this Mario outfit. And uh, I think that's kind of fantastic. So... One downside to this is that right now at the moment, you're not allowed to extend from these particular scenes. So if you were going to do an extension of, say, you wanted him to uh, keep walking or maybe he turns and, and finds a princess at the end of his walk journey, you would have to take an uh, image of that, upload it back up to Kling, and then generate a video with that prompt. So that being said, let's see where we are with our uh, initial video that I tried to make. Okay, let's check out this particular scene with the guy chasing the chicken down the road. And it turned out just okay. Uh, not every one of my generations have been perfect, so, uh, but I wanted to show you that, that just about anything's possible. If you redid this prompt, also did this in standard, so if you done it in professional mode, it would probably turn out a lot better. Uh, for some reason, either the chicken is shooting at the guy or the guy is chicken, shooting at the chicken. I'm not quite sure. Uh, they were supposed to be best friends. Back to Mario here. I uh, wanted to also add that you can lip sync these characters that you create using this. Um, I have done that, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Uh, it took about uh, 13 minutes for it to do the lip syncing. And let's see what we have here. I'm here for the queen. All right, little flamboyant uh, plumber there, uh, here for the queen. So that's uh, what it looks like when you uh, add the lip sync effect to the video that you create. That's all I've got for now. What do you guys think? Have you been using the elements or the effects yet? Uh, if so, have, have you liked it so far? Have you been able to do anything successful with it? Uh, leave a comment below. I'm here for the queen. Okay.